final score on Fox 16. Welcome back. Joined by Reggie Swinton tonight. And we've talked to Reggie over the years about a lot of things, but tonight we get to talk to him about being a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Reggie Swinton is going into the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame. It was announced earlier this week on Thursday. First of all, congratulations, man. That is that is awesome. Thank you, Wes, man. I appreciate it. You know, you you work hard all your life and you don't you don't play the game for accolades, but it sure feels good when somebody recognizes your talent. Did you have a feeling this was coming? Did you know it was a, a surprise? I had no clue. I got the phone call back in November, and it caught me off guard. And when it caught me off guard, I just cried, man, because, you know, man, playing football at Murray State, you know, I never knew that I would get there and do what I did. And look where it got me. We were looking at the class of 2022, some of the guys that you're going in with, and some recognizable names, uh, Randall Cobb, and then, of course, uh, George Wilson, the former Razorback, yeah. and that played for uh, Houston Nutt, who you also played for at Murray State. Uh, man, George, great guy. Uh, man, George came in as an undrafted rookie like I was. Uh, didn't know what was going on, and you see he went from being a wide receiver to playing 11 years as a safety and did well playing safety. Mm -hmm. So it's guys like that, man, who I root for because we weren't drafted. We had to go the hard way to make our uh, money, and to be recognized by, you know, by Kentucky uh, means a great deal to myself and George. Yeah, and this is uh, uh, all of Kentucky, basically. The guys who have gone on and had a successful career, not Murray State, but right. everybody in Kentucky. That's awesome that they would recognize you yeah, and you remember have, you all these years later. Right, you have not to have to make played, you sound old. Well, I mean, I'm 46 now, but I'm still <laughs> young. But you have to have played at least five years in the league and, um, mm -hmm. and then been from Kentucky or played in the state of Kentucky. And so I met those uh, criteria, and here we are today. I'm a Hall of Famer. All right. Have you thought about your speech, what you're going to do, what you're going to say? It's going to be off the dome because, you know, I, 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 I don't write speeches because when I speak, I want it to come from my heart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know I'm going to cry. That part I do know <laughs> because, again, man, just to be recognized, coming from, from um, a small state, uh, you know, being recognized by someone else means a great deal to myself and my family. And you got the CR Sports shirt on tonight, Coach Reggie Sports. Yeah. And you got the CR Sports All Star game coming up in June. This right. is going to be a big deal for Central Arkansas. It's coming here. Right. It's a big deal because these national All Star games are all over the nation. And this will be my third one. The first one I had back in, um, in Texas um, last July. My second one was in Las Vegas in January. And now I want to bring all this back to Arkansas because it's so much talent nationwide. I want to bring that talent back home and let people here see that these kids take football, these parents take football really, really serious, and we have to get these kids exposed. And my whole thing is getting these kids um, exposure, letting these colleges see at a young age, third to eighth grade, there is talent that needs to be seen here in Arkansas. So you've had these camps in other places. You're bringing it here. But it's All-Stars from all over the country. Is that how it works? How are they selected for the All-Stars? Yeah, game? so the one I had in Las Vegas, we had 155 kids representing 27 different states. So they'll send me film, and myself and Eric Baker will go over the film, look at it, and if we feel like that child is good enough, then we'll send them an invite. And they come here and they play, and they'll meet their teammates, they'll meet their coaches while they're here. They'll practice five times, then play that Sunday. And oh, by the way, it's some big time players coming mm. that the kids and parents might want to know about, like Rocket Ishmael, like Roy Williams, uh, like Jimmy Smith, uh, Houston Nutt, uh, Kevin Williams. It's, it's a bunch of former players coming down here to either coach or just make an appearance. And so they're just helping these kids out and, and giving them wisdom and coaching tips during those five practices. Hey, why not be coached by a pro? Yeah. That's and, awesome. Yeah, so they're coming down, and, I, you know, hopefully I can get Warren Sapp and Donald Driver, so I'm working on those two guys right now. Okay, so if there's somebody watching, can local kids be in this game? Yes, team? so third through eighth grade, you can send me your son's film at reggieswinton at email.com. Not Gmail, email, reggieswinton at email.com, and we'll watch the film, and if we think your child good enough, then we'll send the invite. Now, they got to be good. It's not just anybody. You just send this is all stars. This is all stars. As a matter of fact, the one in Vegas, it was five or six eighth graders that will be power five recruits. And you're going to see some guys coming here that played in my last one that are big time players. So this is for big time players. And if you want to come out and spectate, come out and this is going to be a great event. But the talent you're going to see here in Little Rock is going to be great. When is it? 
June where? second through June fifth. It'll be at Central High School. It's where the game will be on June fifth. Is uh, it what kind of a game is it? Are we we talking pads or we're talking playing? full load them up pads? Let's oh, hit wow. them. Let's hit them in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, congratulations on the camp, but most of all, congratulations on going into the uh, Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame, man. That is so, I'm so it, happy man. for you and proud for it you. It just makes me feel good. And my kids will be there, and that's what I'm so, so excited about.